D E M. That is not, I repeat, it is not a political acronym. It's totally voiceover related, and we're, we're going to talk more about that in just a moment. What's up? What's going on? Welcome to the Daily Voiceover Huddle. I'm Bill DeWeese, your host, professional voiceover talent, voiceover coach, voiceover demo producer, author of my latest voiceover book, Get Paid Using Your Voice. I've got a link below in the description to this as well as my other training resources. You can get the digital download for this uh, for this for less than 10 bucks. And then the audiobook version of this is available there too. So again, those links are below in the description. How are you guys doing today? Let me ask you, I want to start with a question. How many of you would prefer not to take the, the shortest point between A, where you're at, and B, your desired goal, your desired place in voiceover? How many of you would prefer not to take the short route, but would prefer to go round and about? And have you ever <laughs> gone someplace and you're a little bit confused on the direction and something that maybe should have taken an hour ended up taking like three hours? Because you were trying, you know, you got off on these back roads and you couldn't find the road that you needed. Of course, that was way more common before GPS. So maybe some of you guys have never experienced that, but that can be one of the single most frustrating experiences in life because you know where you want to go and you just want to take the shortest route possible. And you know, it's not going to be a straight line, but you, you don't want to take unnecessary back roads and, you know, busy roads and, and take hours longer than you needed to. And yeah, there's nobody here on this train this morning that wants to take the long way. So this morning, I want to talk about the direct, the most direct path between where you're at and where you want to go. The answer to that lies in this acronym, direct email marketing. I like to talk about direct marketing a lot. And by the way, direct email marketing is the e direct marketing if you look at direct email marketing, the formula for direct email marketing is the same as for just direct marketing, like making phone calls. Same, It's the same thing. It's just two different ways. One, you're using uh, the phone for communication. The other, you're using email for the, for the communication. So they're essentially the same thing. Direct marketing is can be the most powerful marketing tool in your arsenal, but it's also the least, in my experience, in working with talent, talking with talent, and that's a, that's a lot of people. It is the most underutilized tool in the arsenal. Why is that? Well, I think a couple of reasons. One is that as voiceover talent, voiceover talent generally, you know, we love to get direct feedback from clients um, when it comes to, you know, we wish everybody would respond to, to our auditions. We're not always so excited about the response that we get back in direct marketing because we want everybody to say yes. But most people, whether it's me, you, or anyone else, the people will say no, not necessarily no forever, but no at that time. It's all, it's all a matter of timing. And that's why you have to put on a little bit of extra, a thicker, a thicker skin when it comes to direct marketing, because you're not dealing with people who necessarily need you right now. They might need you down the road, but that doesn't eliminate the need to direct market it, to direct market and to do it consistently, which is the other hiccup for a lot of people. You know, they want to do it once or twice or a few here, a few there, but direct marketing does require a consistent ongoing effort. But it is it is the 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 way to market that gives you the absolute most control. It's not the only way to market. Now, there are other things that, that I'll tell my students, you know, they need to do. Uh, like, for instance, like talent rosters. Absolutely. Uh, you may want to get listed with agencies. Nothing wrong with that. But all of these, all of these other ways of marketing as good as they may or may not be, there's limited, there's a limited number of agents out there. There's a limited number of voice talent rosters out there. There's a limited number of online platforms out there. But you know what there is a virtual unlimited source of out there? Clients. We, we stop and think about this for just a second. There's over 40,000 video production companies in the U.S. alone. That's just the United States. There's hundreds of thousands of prospective clients globally. And the great thing is voiceover is a global business. As a matter of fact, shortly after my video this morning, I have a directed session with a client in, in Spain. And so it's very, it's every week I'm doing projects for clients. Could be Brazil, could be in Germany, could be in the UK, could be in Spain, could be in France, 
could be in Dubai, it could be in Japan, it could be any place because there is demand globally for for English speaking folk and for other people as well, but English is the international business language. So there is a virtual unlimited source of clients out there. And that's, I want you to think about that for a second. Virtually unlimited pool of clients. But how do you get from where you're at to where they're at? It's simple. It's not complicated. It's direct marketing. So if you have put it off because maybe, you know, maybe you're afraid somebody's going to get back to you and say, no, we don't need your services. You're going to have to get over that real quick because that's just, that's business. Not at, most people will not need your services at the time you contact them, but they might in a week. They might tomorrow. They might next month. They might next year. But you've got to get on their radar so that when they're ready, they're thinking about you. And the way to do that is through direct marketing. I don't, I don't know how else I can, I can put it more clearly. I just wanted to really emphasize how powerful direct marketing it is and how important it is for your success as a voiceover talent. We are so fortunate here in 2024, and it's been this way for a number of years now, we have direct access to clients. It used to be guarded by gatekeepers. You used to have to go through agencies for most voiceover jobs. But technology has changed all of that, like it has in so many areas of, of our life. It, technology has made our lives so much easier in so many ways. And in business, we don't have to do that song and dance trying to deal with, with gatekeepers. We can go right to the people who hire us, which means we can be way more efficient and effective. We can scale up far faster and far greater than we could ever have before. Thank goodness we have this technology available to us. And thank goodness direct marketing is not a complicated thing to do. It does require consistency, though. It requires consistency over the long haul. You might get jobs right out of the gate. You might not. Doesn't matter. What, what does matter is it's a numbers game. And if you play the numbers, you will get some great responses back and you will get clients. And you will get clients that will become long-term clients. I've got clients I've had for well over a decade. You know, once you get clients and you take good care of them, they will become the, the, that steady rock foundation of your business that keeps you in business that you don't have to worry about. As you're out looking for new clients, you know you've got a nice book of business that's continually using your services. But it starts with the marketing. And direct marketing is the least utilized but yet most powerful tool in the voice over talents marketing arsenal. And if you're not using it, or if you're not using it properly or to the extent that you should, you are really, really missing out. So again, I ask you, do you want to take the shortest route between where you are and whatever your goal is, success in voiceover? It is absolutely going to be direct marketing. If you haven't started it yet, you need to get started ASAP. And good news, got a class coming up on, actually, it's a week from tonight, next Tuesday, the 23rd. The, if you want to learn, always learn from the person who's best at what they do. And the best, most effective direct marketer in all of voiceover by a long shot is a friend of mine by the name of Todd Barsness. He built, he, he consistently makes over, well over $300,000 a year as a voiceover talent. He built his business using, to a large extent, the majority of his work comes through direct marketing. And he's going to be teaching that class. It's a live event. It's limited, limited number of seats. This is a deep dive. This is the entire class. It'll go 90 minutes, plus there's some bonus video where you'll be actually watch as he and his, and his he has a full-time assistant. Uh, watch how they do what they do. They're going to show, you're going to take you in. They're going to show you behind the curtain, the secret sauce, exactly how you do this. As a matter of fact, Todd has been so successful. He has a company, vomarketingpro.com, uh, who I, that's who I use. They're the people that I hire to do my direct marketing for me. This is what they do. This is his expertise. There is nobody in voiceover that does it better or more effectively than Todd Barsness. So if you're ready to learn this most underutilized, but most powerful weapon, marketing weapon in voiceover, direct marketing, Make sure you check out, I've got a link below in the description. Get signed up before that class fills up. 
Uh, we actually, we posted the, the link yesterday and we had a tremendous response right out of the gate. So if you want to make sure that you're in that class, I would recommend doing it ASAP. I'm extremely excited about it. You're going to be equipped with the best, latest information from the person who's doing it at the highest level in the entire world of voiceover. And that's Todd Barsness. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm extremely excited. It's going to be, it's going to be absolutely awesome. All right, it's time to do a roll call. So if you have not checked in on the live stream yet and uh, shared with me where you're watching or listening from, make sure you do that right now. I want to see who's on. We've got Phil in Tokyo, his first check in today. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Nephi in Knoxville, good to see you. Mr. Rob Ryder in lovely Loveland, Loveland, Ohio. Good morning to you. Bob, how's it going in Reedsville, North Carolina? Rusty Bowers in the UP of Michigan, Aaron, Columbia, Missouri, Mike in New Jersey, Sirius in Charlotte, Rick in, Des Mo uh, Rick rather in Des Moines. We've got GS in Washington, Kathleen in Evanston, Wyoming, Ethan in sunny Toronto, Emma in Huntington Beach, Monica in Poland, Melissa, San Diego, Sandra, it's a warm and beautiful day in Worthington, Ohio. The red buds are blooming. Don't you love the red buds? And I, I mean, I just love the colors of spring. Absolutely. One of the, just as a quick side note, one of the cool things about when, when you buy a house, not new construction, but one that's been there before, and you buy it after spring, you don't know what the previous um, people who live, the previous owners had planted, like, you know, bulb type plants that, that, that bloom in the spring. And so we moved in this house last June or July. I think it was the very end, right the beginning of July, end of June. Well, this spring, oh my gosh, it was, it's, the the most beautiful like tulips and uh, daffodils just in mass in our yard. It's so, so cool. I've really been enjoying that. Uh, James, happy Taco Tuesday to you in Austin, Texas. Theo says, good morning from the Metro Rail System, flying 10 feet above the ground on my way to downtown Chicago on a tremendous Taco Thursday, uh, Tuesday, rather. Leo, I love the way you, you, Theo, I love the way you turn a phrase. That's good, good stuff. You should write a collection of these. We should publish this sometime. Rebecca, good morning to you in Michigan. We've got Mary uh, Winkle. Yeah, Mary, how you doing? In New Jersey, Rob, what's up? Sunny San Francisco Bay Area. Getting great feedback on the fan dub I produced at the beginning of the 1992 Aladdin movie. Also received my first two real fiber jobs. Rob, congrats to you. Fantastic. I love that. Ralph, good Tuesday morning. Always appreciate your golden nuggets of wisdom. Thank you, Rob, and Fresno. Uh, MG in North Carolina. How are you doing? Joy, good morning to you in Southfield, Michigan. We've got Bob in sunny Brantford, Ontario, John and Rhinebeck, Wayne in Port Orchard, Washington. We've got Birmingham, Alabama in the house. Ty in Warsaw, Indiana. Corey in Whitehall, Wisconsin. Denise in Long Island. Uh, Marla in Texas. Sandra, Dallas, Fort Worth. Hello, Merrill in New Jersey. Robert in Indianapolis. Uh, Atlanta. Jay in Arkansas, Gene, Dallas, Fort Worth, Anthony, Phoenix, Alex in Utah says, thank you for all the motivation and advice helping to keep me going while I get started. Alex, fantastic. So glad to do it. Thanks for being here. Scotty is here in Brookings, South Dakota. <laughs> my name is Scotty and I'm here to help, he says. Jason says, good morning from Kearney, Nebraska. Just finished my first job on Upwork. Fantastic. Thank you, Denise, from The Blueprint for all your help. You know, the, blue, the voiceover blueprint community is the best. If you're not in our voiceover blueprint, you're missing out on not only all the best information, like in depth, this is voiceover university, but you're missing out on an, an incredible community of like-minded people who support, don't, they don't tear down, they don't make it difficult. They help make your life easier. And uh, if you wanna learn more about my voiceover blueprint and the community that's involved with it, go below in the description, click, check it out. Sarah, good morning. Mike in Spanish Fort, Alabama. John, what's up in Denver? Theo says, preach, Brother Bill. I just got a VO opportunity from Bulgaria as a result of direct email marketing. That's a first for me. And Theo, or, Theo, I'm going to ring the bell. There we go. There's one for direct marketing and for Theo in Bulgaria. I'm telling one. I sometimes I think may, maybe some of you guys think I'm just throwing out BS when I talk about the number of prospective clients globally. Believe me when I say I am not. I would say at least 25% of my work comes outside of the U.S. And if you're not thinking globally, you are leaving so much money on the table. We got Fancy Nancy from Cincinnati. <laughs> Thank you, Fancy Nancy. Chris in Lakeville, Minnesota. 
1028 Pixel Productions in the house today. Good morning. Uh, Joy, you, you can use your, the question is, can I use my DIY demo in direct marketing? You can, you can. Always keep this in mind though. A professionally produced demo is going to get you a better result. So the better, the more highly produced your demo is, and you're being directed to give your best performance, what it means is you're going to have a better batting average. So let's say, you know, as a DIY demo, I'm, I'm just going to use hypothetical numbers. Let's say with your DIY demo, maybe your batting average is 100. But if you're using a pro demo, maybe it's going to be 300, 400 or better. So your results could be three, four, five, maybe even 10 times X if you're using a professionally produced demo. But that doesn't mean you can't do that now, do what you've got. And then as you, you know, have the resources to do that, again, I'm just speaking generally to anybody because, you know, no doubt it's an expensive proposition. It's an investment when you have a, a demo professionally produced, but you can certainly do it. And I've had students do it successfully. Ty says, add to the marketing, the fact that many of these clients will recommend you to others that they work with. Well, yeah, absolutely. And there's a, there, there's a way to do that in your, in your marketing efforts as well to help ensure that. Nigel, it's a cold and rainy day in Norfolk, UK, but Nigel, I'm glad you're here. And we've got Missouri in the house. Theo says, by the way, my direct email process is one I learned from Todd Barsness. Todd is the real deal. There we heard it. The man talking about the other man. Yeah, Theo. Yeah, thank you for that, uh, for that endorsement of Todd Barsness. Um, yeah, I mean, when I, when I say Todd is, he's the best, I'm not, that's, again, I'm not blowing smoke. That, he, has, he has refined this over the years. It's, he's a machine. He's an absolute machine. So if you want to learn, learn from the best. Roy in Auburn, Indiana. Wally, uh, the best info I've heard. Thanks. Oh, well, Wally, thank you back there in Annapolis. Terry. Good morning to you in Folsom, Maryland. Jason in Newport, Oregon. Henry, my first live stream. Henry, welcome to the live stream. Good to have you here. I'm going to ring the bell for that one. That's a good one. All right, Tina. Uh, Haley, afternoon from Sweden. P.S. It's your in the title. Oh, did I make it? Did I do a typo in the title? I'll check that out. Thank you, Tina. Appreciate that. Henry says, watched a lot of videos so far, still considering starting up from England. Good, Henry. I hope you do. And, uh, you know, there's lots of videos. I've got over 13 or nearly 30, right around 1,300 videos. Uh, I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but there's a lot of information here. Uh, we've got Emily in San Antonio. Jolie, so happy to have you for our fearless leader, Bill. <laughs> Thank you, Jolie. I appreciate you. Bo says, good morning from Hinsdale, Illinois. That direct marketing seminar sounds incredible. I'm going to sign up for your course soon. Thanks, Bo. Now, again, as you can tell, there's a lot of buzz. There's a lot of excitement. Like I said yesterday, we might have even broken a record in terms of registration for first day open for a class. It, it was it was good. Um, so um, this is limited to the first 100 people. And the reason we do that for the live event is because we have a 30-minute Q&A, and we want to make sure everybody's there and gets a chance to ask questions and interact. So. If you want to be there, and I hope you are, uh, just do it now rather than later. So I want to make sure you get in. Chris, in Shelby, Ohio, Ethan in Massachusetts, having fun copying and pasting room tone. Good old mouth noise. Absolutely. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do during the day, too. Henry, uh, appreciates the ring. Uh, thank you. Hello from France. Uh, Nalindo. Nalindo. If I mispronounce that, please forgive me. Thanks for the amazing work you are doing. Thank you so much. Michelle in um, Carmel, Indiana. We've got Stephen in Thayer, Missouri. It's my first time catching you live, but I love watching all your videos. Such good info. I'm also wondering if I could get work by making my demo. Yes, yes, you absolutely can. Just uh, go on my channel and search within my channel DIY demo, and you can see, you can see videos where I talk more about that in depth. Hey guys, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. When you're when you're in business, you want to use and specifically the voiceover business, you want to use the most powerful weapons at your disposal. I mean, why, why take the long route? Why go, why go around all the back roads where things are more trafficked and you know, there's more traffic and there's just, it just takes more time, more frustration, more cost, more resources. Why do that when you can take the shortest route from A to B? And, um, even though direct marketing is so powerful, I think it's misunderstood. I think people are afraid of it. They don't utilize it uh, to the full to the full extent that it should be or that it could be. But when you understand how to use it, you will never lack for voiceover work. 
So, below the description, check out the links. And David, thank you for checking in. Good morning to you. And uh, guys, thanks for being here. Have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon. Tomorrow, to be specific.